Well, here to talk ab more about this contentious issue is former senator and prominent human rights lawyer, Rene Sagisag. Mr. Sagisag, thanks for joining me on the show today. It's an honor to have you. Your initial reaction, sir, when you heard the verdict? Well, I didn't have because in the announce of the 16th Supreme Court Justice, Joe Marcanla at Times, right. that we would lose. No? So to me, but the Manila eh, Times said uh, anonymous sources at that time. You're talking about the article, right? The report. Yes. And so the word that is spread, and to me, we're burying our ideals and principles. If someone found by the Supreme Court to be a kleptocrat, no, no, 2003, and a gross human rights violator, as decided by Congress. That's why we are compensating the victims. Eh, we should just rename it Libinga ng Mandarambong at mga Berdugo, LMB. Dahil it will set a bad example. We'd be the laughing stock of the world. Why someone like him would be buried in our equivalent of Arlington, no? Libinga ng mga bayani, eh. Libinga ng mandarambong at berdugo, eh. Kaya, I suppose, some of us will file motions for reconsideration, but normally, that's routinely denied. So, it's not really the end of the problem. It may just be the beginning. Kasi they... But, but uh, Mr. Sagisag, the Supreme Court is the final arbiter in all legal issues. Well, <laughs> that was our experience under the Marcos Supreme Court. So, in memory ngayon, rejected by the people, the Marcosian Supreme Court. And that is again what we are seeing happening today. No? Now, so many people getting killed, uh, thousands of human rights victims, and it took an Inoy Aquino to get killed for the nation to be awakened and outraged. So it's, there's a feeling of deja vu. We are going through what we went through from 1972 to 1986. Kaya, if you look at the role or place of the Marcosian Supreme Court, in the <laughs> pinag-uusapan in a favorable, flattering manner, and that is what uh, the Supreme Court may eventually plunge into. In other but, words, kung savage re-civilization and decay ang cycle, we are decaying. Okay, Mr. Sagisag, let's say you do file a motion for reconsideration. What makes you think it would have a different outcome from this? No, uh, that was what our experience in martial law taught us. We just have to file it as a deposition for history so that uh, not everyone is left. In other words, we cannot all be like the good Germans during the time of Hitler, no? All right. Let's, so we let's have to go on record. Let's not make those comparisons, sir, but basically you just want it for the, his, for the record, even though you're not really expecting a different outcome. Yes, because uh, we have to make the other side uh, doubt its moral premises. And I think that far from closing or healing, lalong widened and deepened uh, ang sugat. Kaya the Supreme Court, uh, in my view, took a myopic view rito. We'd be laughed at by the whole world. Marcos, kleptocrat, gross human rights violators, being na mga bayani. So to me, they should take a more serious look to the bill of Representative Harry Roque to rename the place, Libinga na mga bayani at mga pangulo. Right. Then now, that. Lastly, Mr. Sagisak, outside of the Marcoses, the Supreme Court also ruled, first and foremost, that President Duterte did not commit any grave uh, abuse of discretion in approving the burial. Well, What's your take uh, we, on we beg to differ. Dahil si Digong, nakinabang niya nung panahon na ginoong Marcos eh, appointed dito, appointed doon. Pero yung nanay niya, 
kasama namin nagmamarit sa Davao, no? Um, after Ninoy was salvaged. B would you have proof of that, though, Mr. Sagisag? Pardon? Would you have proof of that? Which? Of, uh, of uh, the president, the, your claims about the president. Well, no, he was an appointee of Mr. Marcos, eh? prosecutor, etc. And he never, in my recollection, handled any human rights case. Did not really join us a protest movement, unlike the mother. Okay. Kaya, ayan, then merong scuttlebutt pa na binigyan ng malaking tulong ng mga mandarambong na mga Marcoses. All right. Kaya yan eh, amor con amor se paga. Ika nga, no? All right. Well, we have heard you loud and clear, Mr. Rene Sagisag, former lawyer and former human rights lawyer and former senator. We appreciate your time today. Okay.